Hi, I've been asked to show how I can make an offset or a shadow on system fonts in Cricut Design Space. This also works for other non-Cricut images. And the first thing we're going to do is I just typed in some text here and change it to one of my system fonts. And I'm going to select it and I'm going to change the color to black. And I'm going to flatten it. Because the first thing I want to do is print it. So I'm going to click Go. I'm actually not going to print it. I'm going to be virtually printing it but this is the first step because I need to capture that auto bleed image. I'm going to take advantage of that. So here it comes up on the mat. It's already set to have the bleed image which I do want to keep that. So I'm going to click print and continue. I'm going to click through the page setup. I'm on a Mac here so this may look a little different to you. Now, I do not want to actually print this. I want to go to a PDF. So on a Mac, all I have to do is click this PDF button and go Save as PDF and give it a name. If you are on a Windows machine, you will have to install Bullzip or PDF Creator to do something like that. I'm going to X out of this. And now I'm going to go down to my Downloads folder where I just saved that PDF and I'm going to open it and this is what it looks like. This is what it would have printed if I was doing a print and, print and cut of my words and it has the auto bleed on it which is what I'm going to take advantage of. So I need to screen capture this on a Mac. That's sh Shift Command 4 and then I drag the part I want selected. I don't want the marks, I just want the words. And I let go, that'll take a picture. If you're on Windows machine, Vista or later, you're going to want to use your snipping tool for this. So I can X out of that and then I'm going to go to Upload Image. And I'm going to go to Basic Upload. Continue to step one. I'm going to browse. That screenshot I just took should be at the very top of my desktop folder. It is, so I'm going to choose that. I'm going to click Sample Image. Continue to step two and I'm going to show advanced options and I'm going to reduce colors to three. That usually works pretty good. And then I'm going to click the magic wand here and I'm going to delete all the white and I think that got it. Maybe some in there in the P. Let's see if I can get in there. Alright, that looks okay. So I'm going to go to step three and I'm going to uncheck preserve original image because I don't need all that black. I just want the shape and I'm going to save the image. I can give it a name if I want. But this is just a one time thing so I won't worry about that. I'm going to insert that image and let's see just to make this easier to see I'm going to color this red and then I'm going to start resizing it. I'm going to send it to the back because I want it behind my text. And then I'm just going to start resizing it to get it behind there. I want to zoom in on this a little. And you can just fiddle with these until you get this red layer the size that you want. To make a good shadow, that looks pretty good right there. And there you're done. It's not adjustable. You only have one width of shadow, but it is a pretty quick and easy way. Now, we would have to go back to this, and we would have to... Um, set it to cut. Let's see. I think we have to unflatten it. And then we would have to go set all of these to to cut, I believe. And one at a time. Not very efficient, but doable. So now we would have, we can take this layer and move it. 
to see what it would look like. There's our black letters and our red background. And that works again with any image because we're taking advantage of that auto bleed to make our offset. And you just color it black to make it easier to work with. That's all there is to it. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.